Hello kids! Did you know that just like us, plants need food to grow, stay healthy, and get strong? But have you ever wondered how plants eat their food? So join us as we take you into the world of photosynthesis. <laughs> Come join the fun! Plants are super interesting. Plants can't walk around like we do because they don't have legs. And they don't eat food with a mouth either. So, how do you think they get their food? To make their own food, plants need the sun. Carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Water from the ground. And finally, plants need the presence of chlorophyll. But what is chlorophyll, and why is it important? Chlorophyll is a pigment found in the plant cells, and it is the reason for the green color of grass, leaves, and other plant parts. You see, chlorophyll absorbs light mostly in the red and blue wavelengths, and reflects green light, which is why plants appear green to us. This special ability to soak up sunlight is crucial for plants to make their own food. Hang tight and let's dive into how they do it. It all starts with water. Plants absorb water through their roots up to their leaves by a process called osmosis. Osmosis is when water moves from an area of lower solute concentration, like the soil, to an area of higher solute concentration like the roots. Next, plants take in carbon dioxide from the air. They grab it through tiny holes in their leaves called stomata. With the help of chlorophyll, sunlight is absorbed into the leaves. Inside the leaves, the plant mixes water and carbon dioxide together and creates oxygen which is released back into the atmosphere. And guess what? While making oxygen, the plant also makes sugar, which is the plant's food. And this process through which plants make their food is called photosynthesis. Here's a fun fact. Did you know how important plants are to animals? As plants release oxygen into the air, Animals, including humans, breathe in this oxygen. In return, we exhale carbon dioxide, which plants then use during photosynthesis. It's a perfect natural cycle. Can you guess what happens at night? At night, since there's no sunlight, plants cannot perform photosynthesis as they do during the day. So they take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide, just as animals do. The sugar produced during daylight provides the plants with energy at night. Cool, right? Can you guess what happens in winter? I mean, most plants shed their leaves, right? That's right, kids. Photosynthesis doesn't happen. So the next question will be, if they cannot make their own food during winter, how do they survive? Think of it. We will be very hungry if we couldn't eat food for a whole day, right? In preparation for winter, plants store energy during the growing season in the form of starches and sugars in their roots, stems, and branches. In winter, many plants go into a special sleep called dormancy. During this time, plants slow down their growth and don't do as much work as usual. This helps them save energy until it's warm again in spring. Today we learned how plants make their food. The process is called photosynthesis. And plants need sunlight, carbon dioxide, water and chlorophyll found in the leaves for photosynthesis to happen. With all the elements present, plants can generate their food in the form of sugar while releasing the oxygen formed into the atmosphere which is used up by humans and animals during respiration. So kids, whenever you see a plant, don't forget to tell the plant, 
Thank you for giving us oxygen. See you next time, kids. <laughs>